Hey everyone, so today's tutorial is going to be about DMX in triggering. So, or in other way, in other words, how to trigger uh, playbacks on your main console or main uh, computer system uh, from external DMX controllers or from external another lighting console or any other uh, device that can send uh, a DMX in signal so via Artnet so first of all what you need is you need to have a magic U system that is unlocked or a full physical console so in my case I'm running a magic Q PC system that's unlocked on my Mac and that means I can receive external signal and what I need to do on that main system before I will configure the external before I will show you how to configure external system uh, this is what you need to do so I'm running the basic uh, Chauvet uh, demo show file um, you can go to setup then you go to the network and you have to set your IP address correctly which is I set it as 2.0.0.150 and the subnet mask 255.0.0 then after that, just maybe to make it easier for you if you want, uh, if you are not aware of, if you go to the playback option in the latest options, in the latest versions, you have a playback holdover mode. You can switch on the two page holdover mode. That means you can run playbacks on the same fader from separate pages. Okay, and the last thing you need to do is in the DMX, uh, in the setup, you have to go to the view DMX input output option. And here you need to set uh, your universes for out and for in. What it means is, so at the moment I'm using seven, uh, sorry, I'm using seven, uh, seven lines, seven lines of control. And you can see that the first seven lines are activated with the Artnet. So I'm outputting seven universes from Artnet 0 to Artnet 6 and for the input I'm using Artnet uh, as the protocol and I'm using universes 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, 11 etc. So always for the input option you have to use the universes that are not f used for the output otherwise there's going to be a conflict between the, uh, between the signal. So then what you need to do is you go to the layout one and just wait and I'll show you what you need to set uh, on external machine. Okay, on external machine what I'm running is I'm basically running um, I'm I'm running uh, a 48 channel mode so if this is not how you uh, how you get used to see the magic U, you can go to the panel and press full and you will be able to see it's in the full mode all I did I started the new show file and like you can say new show yes and then I actually no I actually did load show demo and I did 48 channel demo mode so when I did 48 channel demo mode, it's basically loaded with the 48 channels and then I was able to raise each channel. So this is where the simple mode is useful. You can raise the channel here and you, record, you can record it as a, as a playback. So I already have four playbacks. I can do the fifth one. So this is just a single channel mode. So I'm raising the fader to 100%. Then I press record and I'm saving this over here. This mode is really useful when you're testing your fixture. If you don't know uh, the channels of the fixture, you have 48 uh, handles to actually test each channel and see what each channel is doing. So it's, 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 it's useful when you're trying to create a personality file for the lights. But in my case, I just made five uh, channels, uh, five playbacks. Each playback is a one channel. So when I raise the playback number one, it's basically uh, it's basically controlling the dimmer channel one on the line one here. So what I want to do is every time I raise this one, I actually want to activate the playback number one on the external system. So in my case, you can actually uh, in my case I'm using the magic Q on the external system. It can be in a in a demo mode because this is only for the output, nothing else. So the external system can be any third party console you want to use, any um, any uh, other controllers or any other uh, software that can send the uh, the DMX in signal.
okay let's go back to the main system I'll show you how to uh, activate everything there okay on the main system I go to um, macro and here you go to the automation normally you see that window and you you go to the view automation and here you have to press insert automation and then it will tell you what type of automation you s select option DMX input after you do this it tells you what what you want to control level threshold rising fall, uh, falling uh, eight, bin, uh, eight ranges six in ranges in my case I don't want any of this I want just a level I haven't played with anything else but you just set the level then the next option is important it basically asks you if you double click it says set DMX channel for the universe and channel coming in so as you know I'm sending the everything the input onto the line one yeah and my first channel is going to be channel one from external console on uh, what it means is you have to come here and type uh, one dash one and that will set as a universe one as a receiving and also sets as the um, as the channel number one dimmer channel number one that's coming from external system then you have a function option double click and you choose the different options so I'll show you the basic one is the playback level so playback level will basically control the fader level uh, of any playbacks on your active or current page so in my case I can set as a playback one so it's automatically set as playback one so now if I raise the playback uh, one on external system you will see that it will be triggering the first playback you can see I'm controlling the dimming intensity so this is expected to see a little bit of delay because my Mac is actually running on full f with the full fans and uh, it, it's running magic Q visualize and also uh, external screen capturing system so you should not see that with the real lights then uh, you may say okay how about how you're gonna activate a chase it's going to be exactly the same thing because it's a chase we, we select this and press insert automation DMX input uh, channel is going to be 1-2 so 1 because it's receiving on line 1 yeah so we're going here so just to r r remind you so we're receiving on line 1 signal yeah but from the un uh, from the universe 7 and universe 7 is sending the channels number 1 2 3 4 5 the channels that we programmed on uh, on our console on external system so again i set it as 1 2 and then the playback function again you can say playback level and which one you type you select it press 2 enter and it will set it as two so that means it will be activating playback number two okay let's try it we'll raise the fader number two on external system and as you can see it activates the um, the, uh, the chase and the chase is running now so then a lot of people when they ask this they say okay we can control this but of course everyone says but I don't want to control only 10 of them I actually want to use external system to trigger extra memories not the, just the ones that I have on the main page again that is possible so basically you can trigger anything in your queue store in your stack store and in your execute window so in my case I will show you how to trigger something in a queue store so we have a queue here if I press the button you're gonna see it's running it's called beam tilt and it's a queue number 39 okay so what you do is you go back to the macro window you select the end of the line insert automation you change to the DMX input and then change the channel say 1-3 uh, so it will be dimmer channel number 3 activating it and then I will set here not playback level not the stack level but I'm gonna say Q level Q level is going to tell you which Q number and in the options here you type 39 enter so it will activate the Q number 39 and it's called beam tilt exactly like it says here let's try it 
So I'm raising the fader number three on external system and you can see it has activated it. So again, you can now use the external system to trigger memories in your uh, in your console. So that way you will be able to expand amount of uh, control amount of playbacks you can control from external system and of course uh, it is much much easier if you use if you use dedicated wings for that but if you've been in a situation where you want to control it from external system this is how you can do it hope it was useful if you have any more questions feel free to ask and don't forget to subscribe to our group and um, yeah give us the feedback and um, share it uh, on the Facebook or any other platforms that you use uh, so other people will learn it as well. Thank you very much and have a good day. Bye-bye.